Hey guys, Theron Asbury here with Revital Outdoors, bringing you another exciting podcast. Tonight, we're going to the great state of South Carolina. We're going to be talking to Mr. Jared Pelfrey. Jared got a top uh, 10 finish last year at Lake Kiwi for the BFL South Carolina Division Tournament. Very, very excited to be going into the South Carolina Division and uh, talking to those anglers that did well last year at Lake Kiwi. Um, before we get started, as always, make sure you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. That way you get um, notified when all of our content is dropping in the near future. we got a lot of great content coming up. Uh, we're about to hit 100 podcasts, so that's very, very exciting. And we're about to hit 450 subscribers, so thank you to everyone who has tuned into these podcasts. Really enjoying meeting all the BFL anglers and doing this content. Again, if you've never heard of Revital Outdoors, make sure you check out our website, www.revitaloutdoors.com. We're a premium CBD company for all the outdoor enthusiasts. We have great premium CBD product, THC-free, made right here in America, so go check those out. And if you're interested in a pro staff opportunity, make sure you hit that pro staff tab and fill out that application. So that being said, let's go ahead and get right to this podcast. Let's go ahead and bring him in, Mr. Jared Pelfrey. How are you doing this evening, buddy? We're doing all right. How are you Doing great, doing great. So, well, Jared, uh, talk to us a little bit about Lake Kiwi and your tournament last year, and what makes Lake Kiwi so special? Man, Lake Kiwi's my home lake. I I fish Lake Kiwi at least once a week. It's just in my back door. It's one of those clear clear water lakes, full of big spots. It's got a few big largemouth in it, also. Uh, that's that's just my favorite lake to fish. And last year I did very well. It was cold weather. And the fish, fish was in cold weather kind of places. It was just in the backs of the creeks and everything like that. And we had a phenomenal tournament. I had five fish in my first five casts, and we was cooling from there. And by eight o'clock, we done had 10, 11 pounds. And it was, it's just one of those days, man. It, you have those days where, where, Everything just comes into play, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it all it all comes together. That's really cool, man. Were you catching predominantly spotted bass, or were you targeting the largemouth too? Yes, yeah, sir. I was uh, I was going for the spots. That's kind of what I specialty in. I I I do very well trying to find the spots, and they're to me they're a whole lot more easy to to rely on than the largemouth and kiwi because there's not many. They're, well, they are a lot of uh, largemouth, but they're very hard to come by in Lake Kiwi. So Kiwi is just a – it's turned into a big spotted bass lake. It's got your three, four, five-pound spots in it, and they're just – when you find them, you find them. That's really cool. That's really cool. So well, talk to us a little bit about last year. How were you able to target your fish and maybe some bait styles that you were throwing to catch them? So last year in the BFL, uh, it was cold. And when we blasted off, it was like 25 degrees last year. And uh, I targeted my fish that is chasing bait in deep water. And uh, I threw a little eighth ounce pulse jig with a, the Mickey Armor Shad on it. And I was letting it go down in the deep water. It was very patient kind of fishing for eighth ounce to get 40, 50 foot of water uh, all the way to the bottom. But once it was there, the fish would eat it. And using that two and a half inch bait, I think made the, the big difference of everything. So, okay. And Were that's you throwing how I that bait kind of like a... Okay. Were you throwing what? that bait kind of like a jigging spoon where you would just let it sink down to the brush pile with the fish in it and kind of just dig it, jig it up and down? Or would they eat it as soon as it hit that brush pile? Normally, as soon as it hits your brush pile, they would, if there's going to be one on it, it's already on it. Normally, I hit it on the fall. With it being 50 foot of water, you know, I was throwing it as far as I could and just letting it go down. And once it did hit, if it did hit the bottom, I'd just slow rolling it back to the boat and just keeping it down there deep. And the fish, they seem to like it. Okay. Okay. Really cool. Um, how many keepers did you catch last year? Man, I, I honestly, I, I honestly don't know. During the, during the tournament, we caught. It was one of those phenomenal days. We caught forty or fifty fish in a day. Like I said, we had our. Well, I had five fish and five casts, and they was all keepers. So, 
it, wow. we probably caught 40 fish. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, all right. So were those fish, do you think they were relating strictly to a winter pattern? I mean, you said you were fishing really deep on brush piles. So those fish are, you know, completely still in their winter pattern. Hadn't even thought about moving up for the spawn yet. For this year? No, for last year. Uh, oh, for last year. Yeah. They, they haven't even, the fish that I caught hasn't even thought about spawn. I don't, I wouldn't say. Okay. Okay. Do you predict the same kind of stuff for this year or is the weather a little bit different and they're going to be up a little bit shallower or what, what's your thoughts for this year? Well, last year it was February when the tournament was and this year it, it's going to be this month. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the way the, the fish are setting up, you're going, there could be a lot of key things in this tournament right here because, uh, you have a uh, Duke power, which runs in that is what Kiwi is built for is for a power lake. And mm -hmm. Duke Power has a thing that they, everybody calls the hot hole. It's where the turbines go back into Kiwi, and it makes the water warm about mid-late. Well, there's already bass stump spawning very well on that lake right now. The water temperature is 63 degrees in the lower ends, and it's 66, 67 degrees in the mid-late. So you can, you can find your fish deep, and you can find fish in six inches of water having to you know, it. There's gonna be a lot of a lot of different patterns gonna be able to catch them this year. Okay, okay, really cool. So, uh, well, Jared, really appreciate you having on the podcast. Um, what's your weight predictions for this year? For this year in the Kiwi, uh, I think 22 will win. I think somebody's okay. gonna go up and find some big some big girls on bed. Okay, okay. Would you predict spotted bass or largemouth or both? I think largemouth. I think whoever finds their right five largemouth, they'll they'll win it. Okay, really cool, really cool. So, well, Jared, really appreciate you coming on the podcast. You've given a lot of great information. Really cool to talk to another top ten angler from last year. Really, you're the first tournament that we or first tournament angler that we've talked to from Lake Kiwi. So, really appreciate you being on board tonight. Before we get off here, I know you got a lot of people to support you. So, um, anybody you'd like to thank to support your tournament fishing, any friends or family, we just want to give you the opportunity to do that. Yeah, I would. I, I would like to thank my dad. I'd like to thank my, my parents, especially. Uh, I'd like to thank Polt Shig Fishing Lures because they, they support me and everything. And there, there's just so many people, you know, you'd, you'd like to thank. But most importantly, I'd like to thank Good Lord because he, he allows us to be able to go out there and do what we love, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, well, Jared, thank you for coming on to the podcast, man. Good luck to you in your tournament season this year in 2022. We hope to have you back onto this podcast because that usually means you're having a lot of great luck and uh, yeah, just wish you all the best and, and good luck out there and, and uh, man, go get them. Maybe this time you'll walk away with that W. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, Y'all have a good one. I appreciate it. From all of us at Revital Outdoors, again, you've been talking to Mr. Jared Pelfrey. Jared, again, was a top 10 angler last year in the South Carolina Division BFL Tournament on Lake Kiwi. So very honored to have him on board tonight. Uh, again, before we let you go, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Check us out on social media. That's Revital Outdoors, Facebook and Instagram. Good luck to all the uh, BFL anglers out there. Thank you for tuning into this podcast. God bless. Be safe out there. We'll talk to everyone very, very